and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor John Vigneri of Northford. This is John Vigneri, pastor at Northford Community Church, and we've been discussing the importance of our thoughts. And in 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, it says this to us, bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Now, for some context, let's read the verse just before it, which is 2 Corinthians 10, 4, and it reads like this. We use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. Amen. And then let's read the verse after it. It says this, 2 Corinthians 10 and 6. After you have become fully obedient, we will punish everyone who remains disobedient. And remember, Jesus tells us this. If we love him, we will obey his commandments. And here we clearly see that our thought process determines whether or not we are going to obey Jesus in our thoughts and then ultimately in our actions. And so clearly we see that our thoughts can drive our actions. So much so, 1 Peter 5.8 states this, Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Amen. That is such a powerful statement. But it backs up what he said in 1 Peter 1.13, and it says this, Therefore, preparing your minds for action, being sober-minded, so you're hopefully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. So twice we see Peter telling us to be sober-minded, and here it really means that we are to be sober, clear in thought, and to be vigilant, free from intoxicating influences. And we also see it here meaning sober-minded in the respect that it is living with eternity in view and not the world. You see, when we think about the world and we consider the world, ultimately our thoughts are captured and captivated by worldly, fleshly things, things that bring death to our spirit. But God said, I came to give life and life more abundantly. Amen? And so let's take a look at Jeremiah 17, 9, which explains why we must capture our thoughts. It states this, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick and wicked. Who can understand it? Wow, guys, that is an amazingly powerful verse. It says that the heart is deceitful above all things. It's sick. It's wicked. And that is why we must focus our lives, our thoughts on God. And so it's critically important to understand how we capture our thoughts. So how do we capture our thoughts? Well, I believe that 1 Corinthians 13, 11 starts to give us some great insight on how to do that. And it says this, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. And I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Amen? This really speaks to the process in which we start looking at things through God's eyes. And we start seeing the world from God's perspective. We start thinking godly. We start behaving godly. We put away worldly childish, fleshly things and think about those higher heavenly things. Amen? And so the first step is to recognize that those thoughts are childish, meaning they're evil, they're wicked. Those thoughts do not come from God. And I'll ask you this, 
What thoughts do we recognize that we must capture? What thoughts do we have that are not from God? Hatred, rage, envy, jealousy, worry, fear, anxiety, stress, lust, sinful desires, discontent, lying, feeling uneasy, feeling unseen, feeling not good enough, rejection, comparison, inadequacy, gluttony, selfishness, greed, pride, arrogance, disobedience, gossip. Man, all of these things are centered on our flesh and they do not come from God. And so the first thing we need to do is capture those thoughts. Take those thoughts captive. Do not allow those thoughts to sit in our minds. We must substitute those thoughts for biblical thoughts, godly thoughts. Remember, the sword of the Spirit, the sword, which is the Word of God, is a weapon to be used against our negative thoughts. You've been listening to Pastor John Vigneri of Northford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.